Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have an unboxing for you of a kit that I kind of just randomly found, and uh, I just found the box art to be so unique. I picked it up, looked at it, and it turns out it's a, a it's like a limited edition metallic kit. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just check it out. So looking at the front cover art, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, basically, the RX-78 leaving from the white base and the atmosphere. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And you can see that it says the art of Gundam right there in the corner. Um, it's from, oh, I guess, an event in Osaka. Um, I really couldn't find much information on this. Uh, and any, any information I could find was in Japanese. And I was just too lazy to ask my wife to go ahead and translate it for me. But uh, if y'all know in the comments below, definitely let me know exactly what event this came from. Uh, but I know there's a lot of art of Gundam uh, models, especially from, um, I think it was from the same year, 2014, where there's a lot of clear ones, like the uh, the massive gray red frame. I think there was a uh, double riser, um, and there was like a few other ones that were like, uh, you know, pretty much clear. And this did release in 2014. So I don't know what the original price was on this, but I just went ahead and paid uh, 1200 yen, which is about 12 bucks for it. And then looking here on the side, you can see the front and back of it, and it does come with a sticker that says Art of Gundam uh, right there on the shield, but it's all in like this like nice little clear metallic. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to go ahead and build this. So taking a look at the first runner, runner A, uh, overall looks really good. A lot of different color separation right here. Um, I I think this is uh, I don't think this is the revive. I, I'm not I can't really be uh, too certain. It doesn't look like it's the revive version. It looks like maybe it's one of the uh, the older ones, like the 30th anniversary. So um, if y'all can let me know in the comments below of what RX78 this is, uh, if you need to take a look at the little um, kind of nameplate right up there. I don't think that's the revive, but. Uh, hey, either way, it's a pretty nice little uh, mobile suit. And the yellow right here is, it's kind of semi-metallic, but uh, it's a little bit clear as well. So you kind of got like a little bit of metallic clear going on for the yellow. And then the gray right here is basically just a glossy gray. I thought it was gunmetal at first, but I'm not really seeing that. I just see like a very glossy gray. So the red right here is actually metallic red. Uh, I think it looks fantastic and it's basically going to be for all the original red parts on the RX-78-2. And then you're also going to have some metallic blue for the chest and the back. Now Runner B is pretty much all a very clear pearlescent kind of white. Uh, overall I think that's going to look fantastic and it's really going to show the inner frame. Uh, so all those gray parts are really going to show through and look really nice underneath it. Now this runner, Runner C, is basically going to be all the weapons and this is definitely uh, gunmetal. Uh, so overall I think that looks pretty good and you can definitely see it's going to have the uh, the bazooka, it's going to have the Gundam hammer over here, and it's going to have its basic beam rifle right over here. And you get a nice little polycap sheet right here. A very small sticker sheet and I kind of just answered my own question. Uh, it's actually the Gundam G 30th, so the 30th anniversary edition. Uh, I never built this one before so this is actually going to be uh, a new experience for me uh, just to kind of compare it to the revive version if I ever decide to get that one. Then you also get a The Art of Gundam uh, sticker so this will be used for the shield. A chain piece for the Gundam hammer. And finally taking a look at the manual, uh, the front is basically just kind of like looking at the uh, the mobile suit itself so you can definitely see all that nice little metallic kind of just showing through. Uh, looks really good overall um, and then the inside is actually, although actually I thought it was going to be all uh, color but uh, this part right over here is going to be all color so a couple of pages and then looking on this side uh, just kind of like shows you what the runners are and then the rest of the instructions is all going to be black and white. Uh, but it looks pretty good. And then on this side, kind of just show you some of the other high grade models. Uh, these are some really old models. So uh, if you do want these, I guess you can go ahead and get them. But uh, since this is based on an old mobile suit, it's probably just borrowing uh, kind of just the advertisement. Unless it's just a separate advertisement for it. Um, and then up here, I'm pretty sure it's a little description of the RX-78-2 and got a nice little pose right up here with it. And then it kind of just shows you, hey, put the sticker right there on the shield. Overall, though, it's going to be a very quick build and probably a very quick and easy review. So I'm pretty excited to go ahead and do that. Uh, so stay tuned for that review later on this week. So I'll be seeing y'all later. Bye bye.